Hi. Now, we've got this question here then that uh, you might like to try. If you haven't done so already, then just give you a moment to pause the video. Do come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine or fast forward it through the video to the relevant sections. OK, welcome back if you had a go. So let's see how we do this one then. Well, first of all, we're given that x times dy by dx equals 3x plus y squared. And we've got to show that we get this relationship here. Now, in order to do this, what I've got to do is take this equation and differentiate it with respect to x. So if we start with that then, let's just label this equation say 1 and we'll say differentiate equation 1 diff with respect to x. Now if we differentiate this with respect to x what we're going to have is for this part we're going to need to use the product rule so we'll take the x and multiply it by the differential with respect to x of for dy dx and that's going to give me d2y by dx squared and then plus and then we differentiate the x which is 1 and multiply that with dy by dx so that's the first part anyway of differentiating that term with respect to x using the product rule so we've now got equals, and if we differentiate 3x with respect to x, we're going to get 3. And then if we differentiate y squared with respect to x, remember this is implicit differentiation, so it's going to be 2y. We differentiate the y squared with respect to y, and then we write dy by dx. Okay, so we get that. It's a simple step now just to show that we get this result. Because if we just put our first term down, x multiplied by d2y by dx squared, and then if we were to subtract this term from both sides, pull out dy by dx as a common factor, then you're going to have plus 1, okay, minus the 2y dy by dx, and then this equals the 3. And that's what we had to show. All right. Now, it goes on to say that given that y equals 1 and x equals 1, find a series solution for y in ascending powers of x minus 1, up to and including the term in x minus 1 to the power 3. Now, to do something like this requires Taylor's series or Taylor's expansion where we're expanding as a series in powers of x minus 1. And we're going to go up then to x minus 1 all cubed. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to have y as f of x and we're looking at the value of y when x is 1. We're looking at dy by dx when x is 1 d2y by dx squared when x is 1, and d cubed y by dx cubed when x is 1, in order to get this. Now I can see that I don't have this third differential, d cubed y by dx cubed. So I'm going to need to get that first of all. So to do that, what I need to do is take this equation here, we'll call it 2, and what we're going to do is differentiate this equation with respect to x. So we'll just put here differentiate okay, equation 2 with respect to x. So if we do that, then taking this first term, we're going to need to use the product rule again. So therefore, what we're going to have is x multiplied by the differential of d2y with dx squared with respect to x. So that's going to give me d cubed y by dx cubed. And then we have to plus and then we differentiate the x with respect to x. That's going to be 1. And then multiply it by d2y by dx squared. So we've got d2y by dx squared. 
Now when it comes to differentiating this term with respect to x, then again I'm going to have to use the product rule here. So we'll just take the first part there, 1 minus 2y, and multiply it by the differential of dy by dx with respect to x. So that's going to be d2y by dx squared, and then add the differential of 1 minus 2y and multiply it by dy by dx. Now the differential of 1 minus 2y is going to be minus 2 here dy by dx. So we multiply that with another dy by dx, so we're going to get minus 2 times all of dy by dx all squared. And if we now differentiate the 3, well it equals 0. So we'll call this equation 3 because we're going to come back to that very shortly. So we need to get our values. We need to get dy by dx when x is 1. And we can do that very simply by going back to equation 1 here. We can say that when x equals 1, we know that y equals 1. And if we just substitute these values into 1, let's just say sub in 1, okay, we'll just say sub 1 for short, what we're going to have is 1 times dy by dx, which is just dy by dx, so we've got dy by dx, equals 3 times 1 plus 1 squared. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 squared is 1, 3 and 1 is 4, so dy by dx equals 4. So that's basically f dash of 1. We know that when x is 1, dy dx f dash, if you like, is equal to 4. Now we can move on and we need to be able to work out f double dash of 1. In other words, what's the value of d2y by dx squared? when x is 1. And we can do this by subbing our values into equation 2. So if we substitute then these values into 2, we can get d2y by dx squared. So we've got 1 times d2y by dx squared, so it's just going to be d2y by dx squared. And then we've got 1 minus 2 times 1, that's going to be minus 1. Minus 1 multiplied by dy by dx, which was 4, is going to be minus 4. So we've got minus 4, and this equals 3. So clearly, if we add 4 to both sides, we end up with d2y by dx squared equaling 3 plus 4, which is 7. Okay, so we've now got dy by dx, we've got d2y by dx squared. We need to get f triple dash of x when x is 1. In other words, we need to find dqy by dx cubed when x is 1. And we can do this by substituting all our values so far into this equation here, 3. So we'll just say sub in 3. And if we do that, what are we going to get? Well, we've got 1 here times d cubed y by dx cubed. So that's just going to be d cubed y by dx cubed. We've got 1 times d2y by dx squared. And that was 7. So you've got plus 7 here. Now when we come on to this term here, We've got 1 minus 2 times 1, so that's going to come to minus 1. Minus 1 multiplied by d2y by dx squared, that had a value of 7, so you're going to get minus 7 for that term there. And finally here we've got minus 2 times dy by dx all squared. dy dx was 4, so you've got 4 squared, which is 16, times the minus 2, so that's going to be minus 32 and it equals 0. So the 7's cancel 
add 32 to both sides and you therefore have d cubed y by dx cubed equals 32. So we're in a position now to use Taylor's series here and we can work out what y is. So we can therefore say that y is going to equal f of 1. In other words, what is y when x is 1? Well, we know that it is 1. OK, so we've got 1 there plus f dash of 1. In other words, what's dy by dx when x is 1? It was 4, so you've got plus 4 times x minus 1. And then plus, and similar results for f double dash, d2y by dx squared when x is 1. That was 7, so you've got 7 over 2 factorial. 2 factorial is just going to be 2, so you've got 7 over 2 multiplied by x minus 1 all squared. And for the last term here, f treble dash of 1, d cubed y by dx cubed when x is 1, that's 32. We've got 32 over 3 factorial. 3 factorial is 3 times 2, which is 6. 32 over 6 is the same as 16 over 3. So we've got 16 thirds, and that is going to be multiplied by x minus 1, all cubed, and plus, and so on. All right, so I hope that's given you an idea then on that question.